Whilst us cubers spend countless hours twisting plastic toys for no apparent reason, most of us simultaneously watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, create YouTube accounts to subscribe to my channel so I can hit 100k before Ting Man, or even listen to music. But does what we listen to actually matter? I don't know. So please come and join me as we embark on this journey to find out the definitive answer. Well, not really. More of a completely subjective and not scientifically proven answer to this age old question. More specifically, how does music affect our souls? To test this in this extremely makeshift experiment, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of averages while listening to a heap of different musical genres to see how it affects my times, if it does at all. I'm gonna to listen to some happy songs, some sad songs, some chill songs, some energetic songs, just a lot of songs. And well, after I do a control average of 12 with no music at all, the genres I will be listening to are contemporary popular music, rock, hip hop or contemporary R&B, classical music, and soul slash rhythm and blues. I've estimated that each average of 12 should take about six minutes, so I should have time to listen to at least two songs from each genre. Daily puzzles is the New phone, by the way. Wait, what? You're saying the viewers want a bonus genre. I guess that actually makes sense, you know, maybe listening to cubing helps you cubing? So yes, while I would strongly not advise you to listen to any cubing songs while cubing, unless it's Team Man's Yeet Ball song. For the sake of your sanity, I'll be taking one for the team. Let's get started. I've actually already done all the solves and the whole experiment, I just thought. I thought it'd be cool if like, I put on the headphones because I'm like listening to, it's like, ready to listen. I go a bit more into depth about the statistics and trends of data later in the video, so for now I'm just going to tell you what I was experiencing while doing these solves. My control average while listening to no music actually went really well. I got a 6 second solve, a 7 second solve, a lot of 8s and a couple of 9s. This average of 12 was my only purely sub 10 one which is strange because usually I very rarely get 10s these days. I found solving with no music made me feel very focused, however it wasn't as enjoyable. Speaking of enjoyable, the next genre was pop music, which I did not like. Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles was alright, it's definitely a long way from One Direction, but I'm not a huge fan of it, especially Not Rain On Me by Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga. Definitely my least favourite song of this whole experiment, I regret picking it, but it was for the culture. I had a 7, some 8s, some 9s, a fair few 10s, and a 12, so not great overall, and it ended up 9.5. Next was rock music, which was even worse. I actually got some good solves in here, but a lot of bad ones. I was mostly just inconsistent. I do really like Alive by Pell Jam, however the Skeg song was a little bit piercing, and I think that could have affected my solves in some way. Mostly just bad souls and unlucky scrambles though. My hip hop average went pretty well, it was the second best overall, and to be honest, I was quite vibing to this music. The songs I listened to were Rockstar by DaBaby and Roddy Rich, which is a song I've probably heard too much at this point, however my first solve out of the gates was the only five in this whole experiment, and these two songs weren't too distracting, but I definitely enjoyed them and it made for a good average. The next was Classical slash Baroque, which is a genre I definitely don't listen to in my spare time. I'd obviously heard Fur Elise before and I'm familiar with some of Bach's work, however for the most part of these songs they were quite melodic and calming, however I found that that didn't really affect my TPS. I sort of expected classical music to affect my souls and make me maybe turn slower or not think as fast, but it was actually quite the opposite and I got a pretty decent average. The next was soul music, which I am a huge fan of at the moment, definitely one of my favourite genres, and the two songs I picked are very uplifting and I think helped my souls in some way, however they ended up being quite average again. It ended up being a pretty decent average, and maybe I was just a bit distracted by the music because I did enjoy it. And finally, my average while listening to cubing songs was surprisingly decent. I ended up listening to the nice rubric rap like three times, and then Ting Man's Yeet Ball song a couple times, and they weren't too bad. I definitely preferred Ting Man's song because it actually conforms to the genre of jazz rather than cubing. However, those damn Yeet lyrics might have been the reason I didn't get a sub-9 average. That was honestly actually quite a bit of fun. I haven't sat down and done a heap of solves lately, so it was nice to get some practice in and listen to some music that I like, some music that... I do actually pretty much like all the songs I just listened to, but some of them were a bit annoying to cue to, I will be honest. I took the liberty of... Well, I should take the liberty, it's my channel and my video, but anyway, I made a spreadsheet from all the results, which you guys can see on screen now, 
And well, it reveals a lot. I'm not very good at spreadsheets. I did my best, but as you can see, we've got all the genres listed with the best single, worst single, best mean of three, best average of five, worst average of five, and the overall average of 12, as well as the time distribution for the individual solves and DNFs below. So in total, I did 84 solves, which is not a lot. So obviously the sample space for this could be bigger to make it more accurate, but I think it shows a lot. 100% the first thing that jumped out at me was rock. Look at that red. For starters, I got no fives or sixes, one seven and four solves that were 10 or over. So it wasn't great. It also had the worst best single, pretty much the worst single if you don't include DNFs, the worst best mean of three, the worst best average of five and the worst overall average of 12. So basically it was bad. Was it the rock music itself? I don't know. I listened to Skeggs and Pearl Jam, which are two artists that I thought I liked, but I will admit, it was a little bit irritating trying to cube and especially the song by Skeggs, which was getting a little bit monotonous. But I think another part of that average, I did get some bad scrambles. I was locking up, just not looking ahead. So that was a bad average in general, but I don't think the song helped it. At the top, at least we can see the control test that had no music at all actually did pretty well. This was the first average I did and I burst right out of the gates with a seven, I believe. I got close on a fair few attempts, but it was the only sub nine average of 12, also the first one. But also I definitely think naturally there's a bit more of a focus element when I'm not listening to any music. I definitely think some genres can help me focus, but with no music, I was 100% focused on the cube. I wasn't thinking, God damn it, Lady Gaga, stop. Why did I choose pop music? What I find really interesting is that classical soul and cubing songs actually have no outliers in the top table. And you'll notice if we look at hip hop, it has the second best average of 12, the second best worst average of five, best average of five, best mean of three, best single, and it would have the best worst single if it weren't for the DNF. So really hip hop nearly took the dub in every single category, which is really impressive. And my first solve with the hip hop song, which was Roddy Rich or something, uh, was actually a full step 5.9. So that was pretty nice. There's not a whole lot more to unpack on the bottom table overall. There's a lot of greens in the control test and a bit more red dispersed throughout. The rock one surprisingly doesn't have any bad outliers, even though it was just a terrible average. And we can see overall, I got one five, two sixes, seven sevens, 29 8s, 27 9s, 10 10s, and 7 11s. I will admit these 84 souls were extremely inconsistent, could be due to the music, but I'm fairly sure when I usually sit down and do 84 souls, I doubt I would ever get 17 souls that are not sub 10 these days. But yeah, overall, those are the statistics. I thought this was quite an interesting little experiment. Obviously, this is just my experience, my statistics from my solves with my taste of music. So maybe for some of you guys, rock could be your best one and you might just crash with hip hop. You never know. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see me try some other little experiments like this in the future, and this is a video that you did enjoy, let me know. Because I quite enjoyed it. And you know, maybe next time I sit down and do an average, I know I won't be listening to rock music, that's for sure. If you want to watch some of my other videos, you can click here on screen. And otherwise, see you guys. Bye.